All right, guys, got the spare tire lifted up there. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn the truck on and see if our alarm cleared. All right, so I got washer fluid low, add fluid. I uh, got plenty of fluid in there. I'm gonna do another video on replacing that sensor, uh, which is your washer fluid sensor. Uh, yeah, fuel level low. I need an oil change, I know. I'll do a video on <laughs> uh, the oil change too if y'all would like me to, but um, our service trailer brake system is gone now. Go ahead and clear out all those alarms there. Uh, I call them alarms, sorry guys. I mean, they're just codes that pop up, anyhow. Um, and I will go ahead and show y'all one more thing. Um, you don't have to do it. every single time or you might not have to do it ever but uh, in the fuse box here um, this is what you kind of want to check uh, before bef before you go buy the part here um, to know if that is what you need or if you just need to replace the fuse I'll set the phone down real quick while I get this box off. My fuse box to cover. Alright. Got that off. <laughs> okay, so this 30 amp fuse right here. I know the light's just blaring in there. This is gonna be for your trailer brake system. Um, check this, make sure it's not blown first before you uh, decide that you're gonna repair this because if this is blown it won't work if it is good then uh, you're gonna need the part um, yeah if y'all are interested in uh, the all lights on mod I can show y'all that as well um, this lets you turn your high beams low beams and your fog lights on um, yeah but that's going to be it for this. Any questions, comments, leave them below. And uh, I'll try to address them as they come. And I should be getting my uh, windshield washer fluid level sensor tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that as well. Oh, sweet. All right, guys. So... I hate to prolong this video, but I've been looking for this for a, a long time now. And I feel like an idiot for leaving it in here. And I am an idiot for leaving it in here. But it happens. Uh, that's actually from when I changed my old pressure switch, which if you're curious, it's way back there behind the engine um i tried to do a video on it phone didn't want to cooperate but anyhow yeah that's it for this video guys um questions comments like i said just leave them below and i'll try to address them as i go and uh i hate to put mechanics out of business um but i know how it is for some people you don't have the money I mean, that job right there would have been 300 bucks if you would have took it to a shop. Um, so if I can save somebody a little bit of money um, and in the process, they learn to work with their hands, you know, and feel confident and being, you know, able to repair things that need repaired, um, then I feel accomplished myself. So anyhow, that's that, guys. Uh, Hopefully, I can start really putting some videos on my channel now and uh, helping everybody out. Y'all have a nice night or day, wherever you are, and uh, I'll check you out next time. See you.